Hi guys, welcome back to this next video of Next.js 13. So in this video, I will be let you know guys how you can set up your system and install different tools in order to create and write your first code in Next.js 13 project. So first you need to download the Node.js from this website and download the latest version. I have installed 18.16.0. I've installed it already. Download and install in your local system. Then I will be using VS Code for writing Next.js code. Then I will install npx in my system which will be used to create new Next.js 13 project. You will need be uh, the npm in your system once you will install node. npm will be automatically installed in your system and then you open the terminal and run this command in order to install npx in your system. Right. So now let's go to VS Code which is already installed in my system and open up any folder in which you want to create your Next.js 13 project. So click on open folder and here you can select the directory in which you want to create Next.js 13 project. And then in the terminal, VS Code automatically comes with the terminal. Uh, you can create Next.js 13 project in other terminal of your Mac, Windows or Linux as well. But I'll be using the terminal provided by VS Code directly. Right. So in order to install VS Code, once you install Node and in order to verify whether it's successfully installed, uh, you can verify it by running this command. So now let's move forward and create new Next.js project. So for doing this, uh, run npx create next app at latest, right? So it will install the latest Next.js project in your system and it will ask you some kind of question. So first of all, it is asking me to name your project. So I'm naming this uh, project routing and I'll hit hit enter and I will uh, like to use TypeScript. I like to use ESLint. For now, I won't be using Tailwind CSS just to let you guys know that in this crash course, I'm not teaching you how to create fancy UIs using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Material UI or Tailwind CSS. But at the end of this crash course, I will be creating a fancy nice looking UI using Tailwind CSS but before that I will only be talking about core features of Next.js uh, different uh, technical stuff so uh, while I am teaching all the technical stuff uh, you will see some messed up UI which you can ignore uh, because you need to only focus on the technical stuff of Next.js 13. So I don't need Tailwind CSS for now. I don't need source directory. We can have all these folder within the source directory, but it's not recommended and I won't be using this. So I will be letting it to install app router by default and then I will be uh, using uh, alias. So it's taking some time downloading few packages and it's creating my new Next.js 13. Point four project. Now you can see that it has created my new Next.js project and this is the file that it has created. These are the files for configuration for TypeScript, ESLens and this is the main file packet or JSON. If you are first time learning Next.js 13, so just to explain you guys that this file contains all the packages that are required in order to run our Next.js project. So these are the dependencies that are by default installed. If we need more packages, we will be installing it and it will be automatically adding its reference in this dependencies object. And this is the script object that will contain all the commands that we need to run the project, to build the project, to run the test cases automation and uh, we can add more than these four uh, commands uh, in this script object which we will be doing throughout this course. Then the name, variant, private, we can add more uh, key value pairs in this file but for now let it be like this. Okay, and this is the next config file in which you can add some configuration of Next.js if you want. Public folder is used to store uh, or create new font folders, images, icons and such kind of stuff you can add in this public folder. Node underscore module folders uh, includes all the uh, internal as well as the third party packages that are required to run the initial Next.js 13 project. You can ignore this. This is by default installed automatically and all of its references are adding through package.json file. Now come back to the app folder. In this file, in this folder actually we will be writing all the components, all the routing files, all the APIs that we will need to do has to be written within this app folder. Okay. 
so first of all it has this global.css which is the global styles for the whole project and then the layout file layout file actually the layout of the whole uh, project all the components all the ui responsive ui has to be loaded within the layout file so if you have been using the react or previous version of next.js you have to create some ui components and layout components in order to define navbar sidebars and footers stuff like that so but by default next.js 13 gives us this layout file we cannot change its name it is by default taking the children and all of the routing uh, routing components that we will be creating has to be passed to this children which is currently uh, this page is by default created by next.js and this page file is currently being passed to this layout file automatically so this children is having this page.tsx file by default right so this is the overall project layout file we should not remove it it has to be here the name has to be same and then this page.tsx file contains the home route and whatever we will be writing inside it will be a part of the home route you can see its name is home this page.tsx file we cannot change its name as well it has to be page.tsx or js if you are using the javascript so but here the component name can be anything you can change its name but cannot change the name of this page.tsx and the layout.tsx right so it has a lot of stuff uh, i don't need all these things but first let's try and run this project in order to run this project we need to run npm run dev command actually i need to go inside that project folder so it's routing now if i run npm run dev it's going to compile uh, all the packages and it's going to create a new folder dot next uh, you can see here it is created uh, now uh, why I have written next uh, npm run dev is because this dev key is here so if you want to run the build command we can run npm run build npm run lint npm run start so if we want to uh, optimize this these uh, commands or add some new commands we just need to uh, add key value pair and run npm run dev uh, this is for you guys who are first time learning next year so I have to explain each and everything now it has compiled now let's go to the browser and open up localhost 3000 and let's see if our uh, project is running or not so I have triggered localhost colon 3000 and this is what it is asking currently here it is compiled and now you can see that our next JS project is running and uh, this is how it's looking like and all the ui is coming from this page.tsx which is currently using uh, this module.css uh, file and by default its ui is already written okay but we don't need all of these things so i'm going to remove everything from here okay and uh, i'm going to run h1 home page okay if i save this file it will be automatically compiled again and the localhost 3000 will be automatically triggered so you can see it is now showing the home page from the page.tsx file so our next.js project is running now let's move forward and see how we can create more routes in next.js project so within this app folder in the previous version of next.js we had to we have a pages folder and in that folder we could create uh, files as well as folders but here we cannot have files in order to create a route we have to create a folder with the name of that route so let's say that we have a dashboard folder and this is the new route already created but for that we need to create a page.tsx file again in this dashboard folder it has to be page.tsx file within the folder so this is the new route created slash dashboard and in order to see whether it's triggering let me add something inside it so dashboard i don't need image page.css module is for loading these styles so i'm just adding dot because it has a different location and uh, i'm going to change its name to dashboard right so let me save this and go to the browser and run slash dashboard and see if our dashboard is available or not so i have triggered you can see that our new route is created with this with such a simple steps dashboard page is already created right 
let's say that we have the dashboard slash analytics dashboard slash settings dashboard slash top videos dashboard slash, uh, slash comments we can add more folders inside it let's say the dashboard contains the comments folder and in the comments folder i can have more page.tsx file and it's going to create the more nested route inside it right and one thing more uh, i would like to change its name it has it can be anything right but i'm going to name it dashboard and now here i'm going to name it comments i have to add dot dot slash to fix the location and i'm going to change its name now our nested routes are created now go to the browser and run the comments route slash dashboard slash comments and you can see that the comments route which is the nested route has been created in nextjs 13 all right so now uh, we have our nested routes already created and let me create another folder within the dashboard analytics and here i can have a page.tsx file and th this is the second nested route within the dashboard and i'm going to go to this comments file and i'm going to change its name to the analytics change it to the analytics right and with these so simple steps our analytics uh, route is created so if i hit this you will see that analytics route is created right so this is this is the main uh, main nested route now uh, you can these are the static routes actually in nextjs 13 now let's see that what if we want to create dynamic routes means that we don't want to pass the exact names dashboard analytics right so let's say that we want to create another route uh, within the app so i'm going to create like the notes route okay and notes route is going to have the page.tsx it has to be page not pages right so let me close all these files and uh, open up this dashboard page and i'm going to copy it from here and i'm going to name it notes notes page let's test it if it's actually successfully created uh, then i will create a dynamic route inside it so notes uh, has to be created so that you can see that the notes page has been created and uh, now let's create another folder inside it which has to be note okay and uh, note can contain another file page.tsx and it has to be a single node route okay note all right so before moving further let me define its dynamic route so to make it dynamic what i'm gonna do is just rename it and i'm going to enclose the name of node within the square brackets okay so now let me go to the browser notes and i don't need to pass a node as a nested route in the url instead i can pass anything whether it's node id if i pass one module yeah so it's it's i think it's uh it's giving the error yeah here so i need to add dot dot slash let's save it and now go to the browser and you can see that it has loaded node page even though i didn't pass the node and i can pass anything inside it whether it's 44 so it's going to load node page so this is how we can create the dynamic route within nextjs 13 and just like the previous version of nextjs to uh, enable the infinite number of uh, routes let's say that uh, after nodes we want to pass we are not sure how many routes or slashes would exist after this let's say we're going to pass the id plus the name of any node plus the slug of any node or anything after this okay so if i hit enter it will not trigger anything it will show me the 404 error page because this page does not exist but to make it working we can add three dots so i'm going to change it after the starting square brackets i'm going to add three dots hit enter and this is the only thing that will enable the infinite number of routes so if i 
refresh it's going to trigger the same route if i remove last thing hit enter it's going to trigger same thing remove the slug it's going to trigger same route so you can see that how this is how we can create these kinds of uh, dynamic routes inside next.js 13 right so for this video one last thing i would like to explain you guys let's say that uh, we have a lot of folders a lot of routes in our next.js project hundreds of routes and it's quite hard for us to actually search and find through the list of those folders within this app folder so next.js provide us a better way to organize our folder structure it is not for creating route or technical changes in the project but it's for organizing the route let's say that analytics and comments uh, we want to categorize it within one folder but we don't want it to be a part of the routing structure right so let's say that if i create a new folder for now i'm going to name it shared okay and uh, i'm going to move these two folders analytics and comments within the shared folder okay and now i need to change it as well because i have changed the path let's change the comments as well dot dot slash now if i go to the browser and run dashboard slash shared slash analytics let's do it so dashboard slash analytics first let's run it it will not found because we have created a shared folder so analytics now it's going to trigger the analytics page but shared should not be a part of route but we want to keep it as an organization folder within our project so how we can keep, keep the shared folder but uh, not it to be a part of routing structure so i'm going to rename it and enclose it within the parentheses okay now i'm going to hit enter and now if i go to the browser and you can see that it's showing 404 because the shared is no more supported in the browser right and now you can see the dashboard analytics is working as it is as before and the comments will be working as it is as before so shared folder is good for organizing our project structure so guys that's pretty much it for this video and uh, in the next video i'll talk further about routing and advanced routing creating private routes parallel routings and also what if we want to create different folders which uh we want to use for uh, other kinds of components but not for routings so if you like my video make sure to subscribe my channel hit the like button this is the new channel it will encourage me to create more videos so thank you so much for watching